First we modify the glucose so that it can't escape So hexokinase comes along and puts on a phosphate Now we got glucose 6-phosphate who needs isomerase Converting it to fructose for phosphofructokinase Singing about the glycolytic pathway The most important enzyme is Mr. PFK Turning fructose 6-phosphate to F16P We're committed to glycolysis but spent to wait to and on to step four, where we need to cleave the ring. One G three P is freed when Atlas does its thing. Dihydroxy acetone phosphate, not as cool as G three P. So Tim will help it change. Thinking about the glycolytic pathway, the most important enzyme is Mr. P F K. Turning fructose six phosphate into F one six P P, hydrolyzing A T P for a negative delta G. Investment phase is over, we got two G3Ps Health is pyruvate, and a DH and ATP Step 6 adds on a phosphate, cap DH is our friend And a DH is reoxidized, so the cycle never ends Singing about the glycolytic pathway The most important enzyme is Mr. PFK Turning fructose 6-phosphate to F16P Only 4 more steps to metabolic energy Alright, stop. Introduce step 7. As for our transfer, my brand new invention, kinase takes from 1,3-DPG, a phosphate given its ADP. Now we got the PEG and ATP. Mutase makes it to 2BG. A summarization, what? And step 8, yo, almost done. Oxidazinac, glucose, glycolytic pathway. The most important enzyme is Mr. PFK. Turning fructose 6-phosphate into F16PP. Only two more steps to net KDAT. Enolase in step 9 helps to PG dehydrate. PEP is formed for the enzyme, pyruvate kinase. Step 10 is regulated, like step 1 and step 3. We finally got to pyruvate, and two more ATPs at the end of the glycolytic pathway. The most important enzyme is Mr. PFK. Turning fructose 6-phosphate to F16P. Happens in the side so on to respiration destiny. Did you record that? Yep. What the